Tonight, authorities are investigating alleged abuse at a Twin Cities daycare. 39-year-old Eric Allen was arrested Monday after Minnesota Bureau of Criminal Apprehension agents searched his home following a tip. But court documents reveal more details about the case. As Jay Coles reports, MPD staffing issues forced them to hand it off to another agency. The arrest of this Minneapolis daycare employee is the result of a more than year long investigation. 39 year old Eric Philip Allen, who a source tells us worked at Mount Carmel Child Care Center, is charged with possession of child pornography. The charges lay out in disturbing detail what investigators found. At one point, Allen admitted to having pictures of girls from the daycare on his phone. Investigators searched Allen's phone number and discovered over 1,200 images and photos in a folder. We also reviewed a search warrant in the case for Allen's apartment on the city's south side. Not only does it explain what investigators were looking for, it reveals a challenge in the investigation itself, MPD staffing shortages. A BCA agent said, quote, MPD no longer had the ability, expertise to investigate crimes involving child sexual adult material due to retirements and staffing issues. So the BCA took over the case. It's another example of a problem we've been reporting on for years. One that a city council member asked then interim chief Amelia Huffman about in 2022. Are you saying that uh, our investigators are detailed to patrol at the, at the moment and that's what's reducing that capacity or um, some other? And so investigations and all of the administrative and training functions in the department um, have accrued additional losses. In this statement, current MPD chief Brian O'Hara says, quote, it's no secret MPD is extremely understaffed. I have repeatedly said we have half the number of investigators that we had prior to 2020. And the investigators that we do have are solving more cases, but dealing with much higher caseloads. I'm grateful that our law enforcement partners are always willing to assist us. And in this case, the BCA's technical expertise was invaluable. And Chief O'Hara also said he is encouraged by the recruitment trend they have right now. And he's confident 2024 will see an increase of sworn officers. A positive sign, he says, to address a serious issue that will take years to fix. As for the suspect, he's expected to appear in court tomorrow, guys. Hey, Jay Coles, thank you.